Okay, here's a uh, problem number two for division with three dividends using number disk. And like I said previously, we're going to look at the divisor, which is going to determine how many disks we will have in each group. In this case, we will have three. So let's look at the first number. We're going to look at the number nine in the ones place. So let's place nine disks here in groups of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. As you can see, we have three groups of three. Start here as one, two, and three. So now let's move over to the tens, which we have three. All right, one, two, three, and this makes one group of three. So we have one with nothing left over. Now let's look at the hundreds, which we have five. So let's put five this here in groups of three. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, we only have one group of three with two left over. So we can't divide three into two. So what we need to do is remove this each hundred in the tens place. And as we learned earlier, excuse me, messed up with my arrow, we know that for 100, there are 10 tens. So let's go ahead and identify that. Change the color. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we can make three groups of three. So here's one group of three, two groups of three, and three groups of three with one left over. So let's do the same thing with the other 100. Let's cross this one now. We just move this to the tens place. So now let's go ahead and move this over here. And we're going to make a, a group of three. And But we're going to make ten tens here. So let's do that. Let's hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten like we did earlier we can make three groups of three here's one two and we have three notice we have two left over we can't make a group of three here and we can't divide three into those two so what we need to do now is move that one each ten to the one so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to move that here and one ten makes ten ones so let's do that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we can make three groups of three here. One, two, three. So we have one left over. Let's scratch this one out. So we move that to the one. So let's do the same thing with the other ten that's left over here. And make so we're gonna, you know, one ten is ten one, so let's make three groups out of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we can make three groups again. One, two, three. So we have three groups of three. And we have two left over. As you notice, we can't make another group of three, so we have two left over. So now all we have to do is count the groups in each uh, value. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we have 2 left over. So we can write, change my color, 9. And we have a remainder of 2. So let's look in the 10s. How many do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven and I forgot to scratch this out because we moved this over to the ones don't want to get that confused so we have seven so we place seven here and as you can see we only have and I forgot to scratch out this one okay because so we move this 100 to the tens so we only have 100 so my answer is 100 79 with a remainder of 2. So I place this on my division bar. So I place my 9 over the 9 in the 1's place. I place a 7 above the 3 in the 10's place. And I place 1 above the 3 for 
the ones place and I have a remainder of two. So let's go ahead and check this by multiplying the divisor with the quotient. Write that here, 179 times 3. Now remember, this should equal my dividend, which is here inside the house. So 3 times 9 is 27. Carry the 2 over in the tens place. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 2 is 23. And I carry 2 over here in the hundreds. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. Okay, we can't remember our remainder which is right here so we need to add that to this. 537 plus 2 is equal to 539. So this proves that my answer is correct. So this is my answer. 179 with a remainder of 2.